Hi everyone, I'm going to be continuing to work on the bird for my large mural today, this one. And so just going to involve you guys in the process a little bit, continuing on with detailing the wings and the tail and yeah, I hope you enjoy it. Right, so for this part here, I actually had to readjust the line of the center back before it was sort of more like this and it just wasn't working because it wasn't in alignment with this and I don't mind it actually looking hand drawn and imperfect I never wanted this bird to look like perfectly symmetrical in any way I like that it looks painted um, so I'm going to be outlining this and putting some color in here and I tend to jump around all over the place when I paint so I might change my mind, but at the moment that's what I'm planning to do. So I've just got a very fine brush and some Prussian blue ink. And I'm just going to come up here and just outline that and get a bit of depth on the edge. And I'm just gonna have a look at how that looks. I'll often do something like this and then I maybe decide I don't like that and get rid of it. But I'm quite happy with that at the moment. I also need to put some more feather shapes in here. I painted over that. Those were too small, so I redid those. So I might just paint a couple of those in now and see how I like see how I like the look of it. So I might pop one in here. And one or two there, maybe maybe one. Yeah. I quite like that and I never worry too much about lines at the moment I'm just getting a idea of how it's going to look no you see that's wrong so I'm gonna get rid of that that one there I'm not happy with get rid of that so it's just a wet cotton bud and not pressing too hard like that line so we'll do that I think I'll bring that line more that way once that's dry and any little imperfections like that I can just get rid of there's a little line there I did I'll just get rid of that with a bit of white and paint over it So I don't concern myself at this point with a lot of really fine detailing because I always end up having to go over everything at the end anyway. So at this point I'm really just feeling out what this is going to look like in a very broad way. So I'm just going to bring that out there and see if I like that better and I think I do. I quite like that big one there. And moving back and away from the painting really helps. Sometimes when I get really lost, I'll take a photo of the painting and look at it on my phone and that actually gives me a much better idea of where I'm going. So I quite like that. I'm quite liking the line of this coming down with the tail. Even though it's on a slight bend, that's good. I don't want this to look flat. I don't want it to look um perfect i want it to look like someone has actually hand drawn it and hand painted it i think you can drive yourself crazy trying to get everything too perfect and now i'm going to give these feathers even though they're symbolic feathers they're not meant to look like real feathers i'm just going to give these some depth I'm doing this, it just gives it just a little bit more depth and dimension. Right, we're just going to bring some of this beautiful deep purpley colour down into the rest of the tail to give it a bit of balance. Again, I actually have no idea where I'm going to put this or what I'm going to do, so this is all just in the moment where I decide to go at any given time. And if I don't like it, 
I might scrub it all out and start again and do something different in that area. So I really love this colour and I'm just going to also add a little bit of blue to it to deepen it but I just start by putting down a layer of this colour and um, making it quite watery because I actually love the shading to come through from the turquoise at the top. Round in here, I'm not going to bring that right round, I'm going to put a different colour in there. Mm, to balance that out, I think we need some over here, so I think I'm going to do this patch here. Again, this is just the first layer, going to be coming through with some deeper colour this purple to give it shading, give it high light, low light. Just trying to get my brush strokes smooth through here. Sometimes it doesn't matter, sometimes it does. Okay, and maybe we'll bring some down here as well. Feeling like a little bit here could be good. small there so I'm going to change my brush so this is just the first layer so here's our depth and we're just going to go through blending that in and making sure that that the brush strokes are all going the same way and even though I want it, the brush strokes to go the same way I don't actually mind that you can see brush strokes it's fine I'm gonna go quite deep in here and give that bit in there some prominence and again blend that through there we go you can instantly see that that takes on quite a nice shape. Okay, so now I want to bring some of, I want to balance some of this yellow and orange. I want to start balancing it coming down into the tail. Also going to bring it up through into the head when I do the head but I really need to bring some down here. So I'm just going to see what it would look like with a little bit of orange here. Again, just experimenting and playing and just seeing what it turns out like. It's so easy to get rid of this if I don't like it. Could be a little bit intense, but for now I don't mind it. I'm going to go to the yellow for this piece here. I'm not sure if you can see. That's actually quite intense yellow through there. Maybe we'll just bring some of the yellow here and not make that less intense. All these shapes are going to be outlined with black eventually, so I'm not too concerned about perfect lines at the moment. 